Recently, I reviewed this awesome Galisto 128 gigabyte recall box image, and it does require a little bit of setting up to do because it is in Portuguese language, so you have to go through the setup initially. Um, also, it's a .bin file, not a .img file, which most of you are probably used to. So when you're writing this image, it does require a special software and a special adapter, so you can still use it with a micro SD, but the good news is it will work. Just follow the directions of this video, and you'll be rocking and rolling in no time. So because this image is a .bin file, you do need a program called Image USB. You can get it here. I'll put a link in the description, but I just got it from uh, uh, CNET. And it's easy to get, just watch out for pop-ups. Go ahead and run the install and uh, it's a very small file. You also wanna go to Amazon if you don't have one already, but I'll put a link in the description. You need a um, USB to micro USB adapter because it has to go through one of your USB ports on your computer to be able to be used with this software I'm about to show you. Um, does not work with Etcher or Win32. The software only allows you to write to a USB drive. And at first I was like, oh, so this is a USB drive based image. And uh, no, it's not. You just need, unfortunately, to use this program Fortunately for some, unfortunately for others. So this program will only recognize it if it's plugged into the USB slot of your uh, computer. So for example here, let me throw up a, um, let me go ahead and throw this adapter, the one I'm using into the computer here. Okay, just put one in, refresh drives, yes. And uh, here it is, I have a 200 gigabyte micro SD card in there. And so I just select the drive that I want, go ahead and write to UFD, and then go ahead and browse. Here it is here, the Galistio 128 recall box 4.1.bin, because it's a .bin file, and there's something about a partition table. I, I don't know exactly how the Etcher and Win32 differentiate, but I guess the way they're set up, the automatic settings do not work. Um, once you do this, you're gonna hit write to, U, to UFD. It's gonna say, are you sure? Go ahead and press yes. And uh, this process is gonna take a while. It took like four or five hours for me. Could take a little longer for you, but um, a lot of people having that issue just wanted to show you how you would fix that. It's fairly simple. Once you write it, it's typical. You just take the micro SD out and put it in your uh, Raspberry Pi, boot it up, and it's ready to go. Um, except actually you do have to change a couple other things if you want it to get it in English. I'm gonna go ahead and show you how to do those things right now. Once you get this image booted for the first time, as you can see, it says 905 Jogos. You know, I don't speak Portuguese, but you get the point. It's in Portuguese, uh, recall box system is. This is easy to change the language though, but first you have to do your controller. Um, just follow the pictures, up, down, left, right on your D-pad, then up and left on your left analog, then your right analog, then A, B, X, Y, start, select, L1 and R2, and then I skip L3, R3, and then I use select as my hotkey button. Now I'm hitting start, and I wanna to go to options de sistema, which is the second item down. And in here, you'll find on the fourth one down, idioma, which is language, and go ahead and go to your appropriate English. For us, it's English. Go ahead and press okay, okay, back, back. And it's gonna do a quick reboot. And when you reboot, your controller is now configured, and it's now gonna be in English as well. So you do wanna do those two things. The other thing you might wanna do is turn off the system sound. Go to your main menu by hitting start under controller, then go down to sound settings and then front end music and turn it off. You might also wanna lower your system sound depending on how loud you want it to be. But you just go on to click uh, your A button and then that'll go off and then you can rotate that with your D-pad, close back back and now the sound should be, the music should be off. But this image is kind of cool in that there's a certain, there's a different song for every single system or there's a rotation shuffle service for that. So that should get you moving on this image. So I'm gonna go ahead and post a link in the description of my full overview of this image, which has over 11,000 titles on it, like 49 systems, I believe, hack games, all sorts of beautiness 
and awesomeness on this one. Um, here's some gameplay of some PSP, some Dreamcast, some Nintendo 64. Um, something that I really like about the image is that it runs these games really well, especially compared to RetroPie, for example. It's just really smooth, not much lag at all. This little Raspberry Pi 3 is chugging along lovely. Really good stuff all together there. Um, in addition to that, it runs all the other titles as well. And something I've said in previous videos is how user-friendly Recallbox is. Now this one is not as user-friendly as you saw in the beginning of the video because of all the setup required. But once you get it to this point that we're at now, at the end of this video, um, it's, it's really easy. Uh, hit start, you can add new controllers, you can turn on and off game sound, you can change configurations in the emulator, and a lot of it doesn't require you networking in or changing anything crazy. You can also overclock really easily on Recall Box as it's in the main settings when you hit start in emulation station. Um, this image has nothing fancy on it. No, it just has a, a, a general theme that's uh, been around a while. It's not super custom either, but it's clean. It's good looking as a great variety. I love the favorites features um, and the collections are awesome. Um, the only downside, as I said in the previous video, was this whole Portuguese thing. And some of the titles are in Portuguese and you cannot change them. But primarily, that's just Scum VM and the Cave Story game. All the rest should be good to go, as you're seeing here with some of the gameplay and uh, it's gorgeous, it's gorgeous, runs great, easy controls, first player, two player, uh, whatever, however you want to use it, it's, uh, it's running great. So with that, let me know if you guys got any questions, and uh, we'll catch you on the next one.